Welcome to Joe with Joe. We are here today to talk about attribution. You know, why have people struggled with it when it's very clearly um, broken and has been for as long as it has been? The alternative has been painful, maybe equally painful, where I think, uh, you know, perfect really sometimes is the enemy of the good. People think a lot about a very complex multi-touch attribution with market mix modeling and they'll go through a 12-month process of integrating with a, you know, Visual IQ or a Convertro or, you know, or the like. Um, which is like the right instinct, right? The right instinct is to do something about it. And the challenge with it is you end up like anything else with a lot of scope creep, uh, you know, connecting the dots of, you know, various disparate data systems inside of organizations is sometimes challenging, especially when you cross outside of organizational barriers where it's not just marketing data, but you have to ask the CIO and CTO to do something different and connect to a third party database and, and, and the like. All of that is a bunch of work. And what often happens is people will spend the, you know, 12, 13 months doing that. Um, get pretty tired by the end of it, um, and then if they haven't thought through the actionability, end up with a piece of credenzaware, right? It's a PowerPoint. And you're like, okay, well, how do I do something with that? I, you know, I got a report that told me I've got to do the following things, but in order to action it, I have to go talk to 433 partners in you know, the majority of today's landscapes, right? The time and investment to get there, uh, people you know, kind of uh, you know, lose the plot by the time it happens. What I'm really excited about is, you know, uh, I think where uh, you know uh, Jason Lay and you know Mike Nice are going with respect to uh, sort of incrementality. Uh, it's uh, um, it's super straightforward. Like it, it appeals to people's uh, instincts um, of sort of test and control. You know, really thoughtful data science uh, backed by a history of um, you know rigorous. Uh, proof that this, this is incrementality is, the, is sort of the right approach, modernized uh, in order to be like economically viable and technically uh, you know seamless and, and sort of easy to execute. And for a lot of people, it is like a great leap forward uh, relative to you know best you know current practice, call it in the you know kind of ad server type metrics, without the complexity of you know fully integrated actionable MTA. Create a standard, sort of say, hey folks, like it is easy to do something much much better than what you're used to, um, and I think we're going to fix the industry. So this year, I think you're you know you always have the bellwethers, you always have sort of the lighthouses that sort of signal where the market is going, and I think you're going to see them this year, and then people then say, I don't know what company X did, but you know share grew, impact you know doubled. Bunch of people got promoted. I don't know what they did different. And when people find out that they did actionable attribution, um, and they actually steered their business that way, so they didn't look at a report and say that that was nice, uh, but they like literally reallocated marketing dollars in real time in order, you know, based on the output of that stuff. And you see the impact in you know actual company results. Then people have to adopt, right? And then fast follow. So. Um, you know, this year may, you know, the, the first year where you have those uh, champions, uh, next year where everyone says, ah, whatever they did, I got to do that too.